is my single, my single thought, my single promise. And if I'm being honest, it's this simple knowledge that keeps my mission climbing. I didn't go to school, I went to street college. I became a fucking man, and now I'm paying nine So a few days ago, <clears throat> posted a video of these filler panels that I'm making for the C10 seats. Well, I like them and I want to do a bunch more of these. If you watched the video that I did the other day, you'll know that I was kind of torn on how I was going to mount these. And uh, I think I came up with an idea. A couple of magnets. We're going to see if these things can't be uh, placed with magnets. Just snap on with some magnets and then you know, just pop them back off. That way I can actually put rivets in the corners too to match the rest of the rivets and um, not have to use any hardware out here on the edges. See if we can do it. First thing I do, get the truck. It told me it was a pipe dream. And I was like, fuck you. Here's the idea. We're taking this plate, I end up putting rivets in the ends just to make it match. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is cut some pieces of steel to kind of fit right in here. Just like that. And then I'll epoxy these pieces of steel to the plastic and then epoxy some very strong earth magnets to the back of the aluminum and in a perfect world, stick it on there, snaps into place. When you need to take it off, you just unsnap it. Should never fall off. Should hold pretty good. The earth magnets are pretty strong, so I um, think it'll work. But there ain't but one way to find out. I've been doing this shit for 10 years from the day I turned 20, and now my hair is falling out. And I got wrinkles in my face and all my clothes stink and barely fit. But I woke up this morning and borrowed a car to drive to New York City. Because I got friends and relatives dropping dead every spring and fall. And I know one day I'm going to be taking the same trip. And if I didn't leave you something to remember me by, I would have just gone away like so many leaves down the river. But I didn't. I won't be a target If you want no more than start it I'm a smoking gun I'm a smoking gun
In the last episode that I posted, I was making the filler panels for the seats on the C10. I wasn't really sure how I was gonna mount them. I talked about maybe just leaving the Clecos in there and having like an unfinished look. I also talked about using stainless hardware. And uh, in my sleep, as it usually happens, I got an idea. And that was to use magnets. Basically what I did is I just Used some steel backing plates, mounted those to the seats, and then um, just epoxy some magnets on the actual aluminum panels themselves. Seems to work really well. They just click on and off. If I ever need to take them off to access a seat belt or the seat for any reason, I can just pop it right off. It just clicks back on there. I don't know that I'll leave it. I may still actually put some stainless hardware on there to hold it, but I thought it was a cool idea. Here, I'd give it a shot. Next for the C10, probably gonna do some aluminum panels for the doors, some aluminum kick panels for the doors, kinda match the fillers on the seats themselves. Gonna do a radio delete, and then maybe some decorative stuff on the back panel between the seats. And of course, I got the stuff I'm gonna do under the hood, and maybe the wheel wells. All right, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys Friday.